Good afternoon. Today I'm going to talk to you for about five minutes about the Rock Island Armory GI 5 inch 1911 in 45 ACP. This is one of the best known and also better quality bargain 1911s available on the market today. I've had this particular unit for about three years and have put somewhere between two and three thousand rounds through it, mostly standard ball, you know, blazer brass, things of that nature. And I've been very pleased with it. It's only hung up on me maybe, I can probably count on both hands the number of times I've had a misfeed or a problem. Uh, it will accept uh, all kinds of different 1911 magazines. Uh, it comes with the one magazine you've got there in the blued steel, and uh, it'll take just about anything that fits any other standard 1911. The GI 5 inch from Rock Island is a very, very basic, I call it a war build. Uh, GI. Uh, again, you've got the standard beaver tail, which you know gives a little bit of hammer bite if you're not careful. Uh, you got the standard hammer. It's not skeletonized like on some other units, but you also get the standard safety features. You've got the handle safety, which is uh, always engaged for me without incident. And you've got the safety up there, the thumb safety. Again, the trigger is very fine. In my experience, uh, I haven't had any issues with it, say with uh, some more modern semi-autos where the trigger, you, you have some slop in there. This one is pretty fine. So uh, again, I've been pleased with it as someone who is a, a middle-aged chief warrant officer with bad eyes, bad reflexes. Uh, this shoots okay for me. My groups uh, aren't great. I'll put some of that on here so you can see how it shoots. But uh, again, for functionality, I, I'm not going to complain at all, especially for the price. I got this on sale through a wholesaler, so it was really inexpensive. I think I spent like $300 maybe. Uh, so this was a really good bargain back in 2017, and the weapon has held up. I've taken it to the range many, many times. And uh, again, everything uh, is original parts. I haven't had to replace anything. Everything still functions well. The slide functions well. It's durable. It's a... It's a hefty piece of steel. If you've never held a uh, original 1911 or anything that's even styled 1911, you'll realize that uh, there's a lot of weight in these weapons compared to some of the modern plastic semi-autos. Uh, and my, my attraction, again, as an Army vet, has been to the war heritage of this. Uh, weapons extremely similar to this went to the Pacific and to Europe in World War II. They went to Vietnam. They went to Europe in World War One. I. I mean, they've they were the, pretty much the, the defining handgun of the United States Army through the 20th century. And this is extremely close. There's very few changes. You can see the wood handle. It's not checkered like a Colt government model. Uh, but that's one of the very few differences between this and uh, what actually went with the soldiers overseas uh, in decades past. So uh, I, I like that legacy uh, aspect of it. And again, for the price point, really... This is a this is a very handsome weapon and it functions well. You can see the basic uh, GI sights there. The only change I made was to put a little bit of orange nail polish on the front post, and that's not a huge change, but that's just so it stands out a little bit better uh, shooting at black silhouettes. So yeah, there's your Rock Island Armory 5-inch GI 1911 and 45 ACP. Again, I've had this for about three years. 
It is extremely close to the cult government models that went overseas with soldiers for decades. And I've been very, very pleased with it. Everything works well. The slide functions well. The trigger mechanism is very, very crisp. The safety, uh, both safety mechanisms have functioned fine. Uh, again, my price point on this was probably, I think I paid $300. It was on sale through a wholesaler, so I got a really great deal. And I am extremely pleased with how it's functioned. And again, for my skill set, my age group, uh, middle-aged guy, bad reflexes, bad eyes, uh, it, it shoots okay. I'm sure somebody with uh, better skills and, and, and just... Uh, better juju can shoot it a lot better than I can and uh, I think anybody getting into 1911s especially if they don't want to pay a lot of money we'd be very happy with this I know I have been so again this is uh, a great model for uh, somebody getting uh, old war style handguns who wants to add to their collection without breaking the bank so Rock Island GI 1911 5 inch in 45 ACP